Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the prime factorizations. The prime factorization is the process of getting the prime factors of a number. So we have two methods. We have the factor tree method and the decomposition method. So these are the methods that we're going to use if you want to find the prime factors of a certain number. So what are the differences between the two? Okay, let's try our first example. Let's say we have the number 54. Get all the prime factors of 54 using the decomposition method and the factor tree method. So in factor tree, okay, before doing that, let us find a list first all the prime factors here between 1 to 10. So we have 2, 3, 5, and 7. Now the shortcut here is check the number if it is divisible by the smallest prime number. So the smallest prime is 2. So 54 divided by 2 is 27. Okay? It is divisible by 2. Now, if you want to check if your factors are correct, then you just need to multiply. 2 times 27, that is 54. Now, box the prime number. 27 is not a prime number, so let us find the factors of 27. 27 is not divisible by 2. Next is 3. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay? 9 times 3 is 27. So our prime number here is 3. So box 3. Next, 9. Is, is 9 divisible by 2? No. So proceed to 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have 3 and 3. Now, 3 is a prime number, so we need to box 3 now. So the prime factors of 54 are, let us write prime factors are 2, 3, 3, 3. So 2, 3, 3, 3. So if we're going to multiply that, that will give you 54. So 3 times 2, that is 6. Times 3. 6 times 3. 18. 18 times 3 is 54. Or reverse process, 3 times 3, that is 9. 9 times 3, 27, 27 times 2, 54. Now, how to use the decomposition method? So, 54, so write 54. We're just going to use the continuous division. So, 54, that is divisible by 2. So, write 2 here. So, 54 divided by 2, that is 27. Next, 27 is not divisible by 2, so proceed to 3. So 27 divided by 3, that is 9. And 9, 9 divided by 2 cannot be, so proceed to 3. 9 divided by 3, so 3. Then we have 9 divided by 3 is 3. And circle, 2, 3, 3, 3. That is now the prime factors of 54. 2, 3, 3, 3. 2, 3, 3. So that is the factor tree method and the composition method. Let's have another example. Now let's have our second example. Find the prime factors of 250 using the factor tree method and the composition method. So 250. We know that the factors of 250 are 
25 and 10. But 25 and 10 are not prime numbers. So our technique here is we have 0 here, so 25 times 10, that is 250. Since 25 and 10 are not prime numbers, so we need to get the other factors of these two numbers for 25, that is 5 times 5. Now, 5 is a prime number, so we need to tax that, and also with the other 5. 10. Factors of 10 are 5 and 2. 5 is a prime number, so we need to box that. And 2 is also a prime number, so we need to box 2. Now, the factors of 250, or the prime factors of 250 rather, are 5, 5, 5, and 2. So we're going to multiply that that will give you 200. So these are the prime factors. Next, using the composition method, so continuous division, it is divisible by 2, yes, so we have 125. Now, 125 is not divisible by 2, 125 is not divisible by 3, so 125 is divisible by 5, so that is 5. So 125 divided by 5, you have 25. Now, 25 is 5, 5. So the prime factors are 2, 5, 5, and 5. Are they the same? Yes. So that is the factor 3 and the composition. And the composition. And now let's have our last example. Find the prime factors of 328 by factor 3 method and the composition method. Okay, write our prime factors between 1 to 10. So we have 2, 3, 5, and 8. 328 is divisible by 2. So 2 is a prime number, so we need to box that. Now, 3 to 8 divided by 2, that is 164. Since 164 is not a prime number, so get the factors of 164. 164 is divisible by 2. So we have 2 times 82. So 82 it's not a prime number, so the factor factors of 82 are 2 and 41. Now, is 41 a prime number? Okay, check your notes. Yes, 41 is a prime number, so we need to box that. So the prime factors of 328 are 2, 2, 2, and 41. 2, 2, 2, and 41. Now using the composition, let us verify. So we have 3 to 8 divisible by 2. So divide by 2, that is 164. 164 is divisible by 2 again, so that is 82. 82 is divisible by 2, so we have 41. Now the prime factors are 2, 2, 2, and 41. That is the prime factorization. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.